drivers between the lines in three, two, one, go! Immediately kicking off this match, we have three blue robots moving, two red robots going. First blood pulled by Harrison Row Robotics, placing their first hatch panel. 868 looking to place the second one. Said it's going to be 3176. Placing a hatch panel on the front of the cargo mech, effectively scoring five points. Harrison on the other side able to score two hatch panels in sandstorm mode. Red Alliance, Harrison, where the robotics are looking to finish another cargo ship. They have been known for doing those. However, the robot is currently not moving. Take it back over here on the opposite side, Blue Alliance side. 868 looking to score balls as fast as they can into the cargo ship. This robot originally built for the rocket, now looking to score as many points as possible by doing cargo. Cargo worth three points as opposed to the hash panels, which are only worth two. With 100 seconds left, we have it's 29-24 in favor of the Blue Alliance. 868 looking to place another cargo ball. And with those last two places on Blue Alliance side, there's only one cargo ball left to fill into the cargo ship. It's still a close match, 35 to 30. Harrison Boiler Robotics back in action. Let's take a look over here on the Red Alliance side. 34, 87 looking to play some counter defense against Tribe Tech Robotics. Tribe Tech trying to get through, block off the main score of the Red Alliance side. Black Tech, 40, or 49-26, looking to place hash panels onto their side of the rocket ship. And again, with 45 seconds left, Blue Alliance in a lead of 45 to Red 37. Both, both alliances have climbers on them, which means there are going to be massive point gains for both of these alliances near the end of the match. That sound means 30 seconds left in the match. Here's some boiler robotics looking to put a fifth hatch panel onto the rocket ship. Black Tech looking to climb over on the blue line side, 868 also climbing up along with their lines partners, 4485. 4485 stuck on the, the lower part of their hab too. But by staying there, it'll still guarantee them three points from a hab one climb. We have three seconds left in this match. We end, a blue alliance appears to be in front, but last second scores could always change that. Let's look up to the scoreboards. The winner, the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance winning 77 to Red 66, placing the Tech Hounds in second place. Congratulations to the Blue Alliance for winning Qualls Match 23 here at Center Grove.